we want to break in to take you now to Ventura, California, where Governor Jerry Brown and officials there are speaking about touring wildfire damage. Let's listen in. Uh, but we continue to make progress. The lilac fire in San Diego that also started this week, this morning, is 4,100 acres and 20 percent contained. The Creek Fire in Los Angeles County by uh, Silmar is 15,619 acres, 80 percent contained. The Rye Fire there by Magic Mountain, 6,049 acres and 65 percent contained. Uh, and the Liberty Fire in uh, Riverside County, 300 acres, 90 percent contained. And the Skirball Fire uh, in Los Angeles and the city of Los Angeles near Brentwood is 475 acres and 50 percent contained. So uh, we're very pleased to start seeing these numbers come up. Firefighters are taking advantages of breaks in the wind and the weather to aggressively put in control lines, use aircraft and, and put in retardant and drop water uh, in support of the firefighters on the ground. But what we need to make clear is the winds are variable. They will continue to be uh, 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 strong and dry uh, well through tomorrow. And even into next week, we will have dry conditions across the Southland. So we need to continue to keep our guard up. Uh, it's December, and it's uh, amazing to be able to say that uh, we aren't out of fire season. And this is the challenge that we face uh, in California, and certainly here in Southern California, uh, that it is a year-round uh, challenge that we are all in. Uh, so with that, I would like to introduce the governor of California, our governor, uh, Governor Brown. Thank you. And first of all, I want to thank all the firefighters uh, from nearby and from, from further away uh, doing a great job. I want to thank the National Guard, uh, the public safety people that are here, as well as the Conservation Corps and the uh, firefighters from the Department of Corrections. This is truly a, <clears throat> a joint effort on the part of a lot of people and, of course, everybody here that lives in this part of California. Uh, you're doing a good job, too, and it's been a terrible tragedy uh, for so many people. So this is kind of the new normal. Uh, this kind of, I was just looking at my cell phone before I talked, uh, looking at the humidity. It's 8% in Los Angeles. I don't suppose it's much different right here. Uh, <clears throat> that's very, very low. And so we're, gonna, we're facing a new reality in the state uh, where fires uh, threaten people's lives, uh, their property, their neighborhoods, and of course, uh, billions and billions of dollars. So we have to have the resources uh, to combat the fires, and we have to uh, also invest in managing uh, vegetation and forests uh, and all the way we dwell in this uh, very wonderful place, but a place that's getting hotter. And uh, we know from the changing in the climate that it's going to exacerbate everything else. Uh, from history, going back a long, long way, there have been very long droughts in California. Uh, we are getting some of those uh, returning very bad, and uh, we're going to get them returning more often. And then with climate change, uh, some scientists are saying Southern California is literally burning up, and burning up as a, maybe a, a metaphor or a description, uh, not just of the fire right here, but what we can expect over the next years and decades. And that's why we have to respond, but we have to plan what we can do in the, in the forests and the neighborhoods. And we also have to do the larger uh, challenge, which is climate change itself. And I know that's maybe a little remote, uh, but it's real. And we're experiencing uh, what it's going to look like on a very regular basis. So I'm also doing everything I can there. And of course, that requires not just the people in, in Ventura or Santa Barbara or Los Angeles or San Diego. It requires people everywhere in the whole world. So uh, we have to pull together in the largest sense possible and take the heroic action that we need to make our, our communities livable now and into the uh, distant future. Thank you. I think we can take some questions if you have any. Well, one obvious theme is that some houses are burnt, and right next door, they're not burnt. So the vagaries of the wind, uh, perhaps the vegetation or the construction, all this combines together uh, to make uh, fires unpre 
unpredictable, even though we're learning more and more about them, and that's why the loss of life is, is so limited. But what can you say? When you lose your house and your belongings and uh, people lose their animals, it, it is a horror, and it's a horror we want to minimize, and when we can't minimize it, we want to recover from it as quickly as possible. What's that? Well, that's you've heard uh, uh, our fire chief tell you uh, these winds are still here. Uh, the humidity is very low, and who knows? So you have to listen to what people are saying. Get the um, alerts on your cell phone and be ready to go. That's what it is. And also, a longer term, I think we have to really think through. Uh, how are we going to adjust ourselves uh, to nature as it changes? Uh, we can't expect nature to adjust to, uh, to our needs. Governor, you talked about adjusting things. Given the fact we lost a couple hundred homes here, is it time perhaps for the state or for the counties to start implementing new standards for building codes for homes that are in the mountain brush zones or in the brush interface so that when fires start sweeping in, they don't get under the eaves, hit the attics, and the house is turned for 30 seconds? Uh, well, I think we ought to have a lot of information to every homeowner and potential homeowner on the best way to build or, or remodel. Uh, secondly, yes, we need good building standards. I would d just caution, though, I have in my office in Sacramento a box containing the current building code, and it's gotten bigger and bigger since the first time I was governor. It's good we're getting more efficient, but when you say more building standards, I always want to say let's do this very carefully because it is complex. That does raise costs. So we have to, uh, we have to protect, but I want to do it in the wisest way possible. Governor, uh, California obviously is known for uh, being a climate leader and doing a lot yeah. in terms of climate change. Do you have any sense how much these fires are going to set back those efforts now? Well, the, uh, they're putting a lot of uh, carbon pollution into the environment, in the air, and that will offset a lot of hard-won reductions that we're making in California. But remember, this is a global problem. Uh, we're talking about the entire planet and the atmospheric chemistry and its composition, and we're trying to do everything possible uh, to make the atmosphere um, not absorb all these heat trapping gases so uh, we have to do what we can and that's one of the reasons why I've taken an international role here to uh, join with other states and provinces to cut their greenhouse gases yes it's it's a big problem and that's why I want to see are there ways that we can manage forests better you know, are there ways that the US government can manage its forests better I think there are and that's something I'm going to be looking at uh, in, the, in the next uh, few months, because I think there's more there, and we need to do it. Governor Brown, it's no shock this has been a terrible uh, fire season in Northern California and Southern California. How long for our state to really rebuild? Well, uh, this, is, this is, uh, is the new normal, and this could be something that happens every year or every few years. I mean, it happens to some degree. It's just more intense, more widespread, and we're about ready to have uh, firefighting uh, at Christmas. Uh, this is very uh, odd and unusual, but it is the way the world is with the kind of uh, carbon pollution that we're not only living with, but we're generating still. It's still increasing. We have to make that turn. It's going to take heroic efforts. Um, there are many places in this country that don't get it yet. There are several countries in the world that don't quite get it. So we're going to have to be good stewards of our own uh, neighborhoods and state, but also missionaries uh, to spread the word that we do need to make a change in the way we uh, bolster our economy, not with fossil fuel, but with uh, renewable energy. One more question. Yeah. Governor, are you satisfied with the response you're getting from the federal government? Well, so far, so good. We have been getting response, but you know, when you look at it, Texas, Florida, uh, Puerto Rico, now California, this is tens and tens of billions of dollars. We were talking uh, last year about infrastructure and uh, you know all the money we're gonna spend on roads and bridges in America. Well now, we just have to clean up the mess uh, that nature is causing. So I hope the folks in Washington realize that as they're uh, spending money, 
uh, or helping others spend it by giving them various tax breaks. Uh, we need to invest in our firefighting capacity. We need to invest in our, in our whole infrastructure as well as our energy uh, and, and means of storage. So we got a big agenda. It's not a time to do less. It's a time to do more. And unfortunately, the politics is so divided uh, that we have a lot of other things we're thinking about. But this is a topic. Fires, uh, floods, earthquakes don't go away. So we've got to handle the basics uh, while we take care of other things that uh, politicians like to deal with. And that's it. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you, Governor. All right. Okay. Thank you. Well, I'm off to Paris to uh, on a climate change. But I'll be back on Thursday. Again, that was Governor, California Governor Jerry Brown. He was addressing the deadly wildfires you see there on your screen. We're going to continue to monitor the situation out in California. We'll have much more of the other day's news, including an interview with Jerry Brown, with Bill Whitaker from 60 Minutes. You can watch it on Sunday right here on CBS, 7 p.m. Eastern and Pacific.